We're going to, we each, whatever you have, whether it be one, two, or three goals, we're going to go around the room and let each individual add that goal, add a goal to it if they have it. If you don't, then just pass. Uh, one of my goals that we didn't, we have not discussed at, at this retreat was determine, continuing to determine are there additional areas that we can contract for outside vendors to provide services, like we did with the mowing, uh, you know, grading, utility work, etc. Are there are there additional services that we can look to contract out that can be more efficiently done outside versus inside? Okay. Um, Did you get all that page? Just wait on direction from the chairman on how we'd like to paraphrase. Yeah, that's it. Um, I guess uh, the, the goal would be to explore, explore, um, cost analysis, explore future vendors, outsourcing. Outsourcing. There you go. Yeah. There you go. That's what I look for. Thank you. Slash your range, three words or less. Kind of sort, yeah. Uh, I think the goal very specific. Yeah, right there, just explore uh, the options for outsourcing. I think to kind of lock down that specificity, we might need some options on um, those services that should be considered. Oh, uh, okay. Well, that I think that would would uh, okay. Go ahead. I mean, what do you think would be? Um, I, I mean, I, I don't, I don't. Uh, you have an area? No, I mean, I don't, I don't know. I mean, we, we contract out mowing on one end. Do we look at contracting it out on the other end? Can we contract out? You know, what are the pros and cons? I know there's been some discussion on contract out grading and and road maintenance versus doing it in house, having tractors available that we control versus having an outside vendor control. And I know there are pros and cons. But are there other services that we can contract out? I, I don't know. When you say public work, I, 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 I mean, that doesn't sound like it. Yeah, well, I mean, I, I, I'm kind of focusing on public works, but I mean. Oh, I mean, are you saying public works, IT? Yes. Do we, um, are you saying um, uh, ambulance service? Um, no, I'm thinking within under our umbrella. Well, I would think you know, hey, you, you say hospitals, you provide that, or you talk about paying somebody else to provide that service for, you're talking about unaffordable commissioners. Uh, the ambulance yeah. service is a part of. I know, but you're talking about like, yeah. Well, I mean, you're, if we go through your requirements that you have direct oversight for, are there additional services that we can contract out? more efficiently than, I mean, I'm just asking the question. Yeah, so you say public works, IT, engineering, uh, HR, uh, I'm trying to get, well, yeah, I mean, that's, that's, that's all of that. I mean, that's, that's what you, no, I, I'll go up in your thing, call it up his way. I don't speak to you, but I don't think that's what you're saying. I think what you're saying is, what are those tasks that we're already sort of farming out partially? We've got one foot in, one foot out, that require a lot of manpower, a lot of equipment, a lot of those other things. Would it be cheaper for us to contract, and you're probably, you're not talking about more than just a handful of activities. Right? I, I don't know. Okay. <laughs> I, I, I mean, I don't know. What are, what are other communities using this contract services? I mean, have we, have we done any research on what other counties are appropriate size because you know, I don't think it's fair to look at a county of 12,000 yes. people. Yes, baby. Is, is this possibly something that maybe instead we want to add to the, the list no. of things for exploration budget-wise? <laughs> okay. Or is it something that you actually, are you ready to actually make this a goal, I guess, is what needs to be considered. I would be. The word explore, so that's key. Yeah. To look at me yeah. as to how you can do what we can and what we can't. Yeah. I, I'm, not, I'm not, I would say this, I think it is something that's, that's worthy of exploring. It's no different than just looking at the website, for example, would be a good example of outsourcing. Right. Um, that, that is, that is a, a, an example of it. Um, the mowing is an example. Um, the paving issue, I think what you're going to find in a lot of cases, just like paving, we have found that we can in-house, we can pay 
cheaper than we can contract it out. For smaller projects. For smaller projects. Yeah. For smaller projects. For right. larger projects. Yeah, yeah. We don't have the capacity. To do That's that. right. We've talked about that. So, you know, do we want to continue to go in that, in, you know, in, in that, at that point? And is there, do we want to look at uh, outsourcing? I mean, I don't, personally, I don't, I don't like outsourcing HR. No, I would lose a lot of that. control. I mean, you lose a lot of things there. I don't like those sort of that things. Way. I don't like, I don't like specifically outsourcing anything from a management standpoint, certainly, because you, you do lose some control. I mean, I, I'm leaving it broad on purpose because I don't know the answers. And yeah. I, I would like to explore what other communities our size are doing and how they're doing it. Well, then maybe, is there, I'm a big efficiency nut. Is there a big, is there a quicker, easier way to do it that's less expensive? And get the results well, that you're looking well, for. Well, maybe the option would then would be simply to to look at other communities and see what they are doing as far as outsourcing to see if it is a model that we might use for our community. And who would do that? Again, for a like type communities. We're not and we're Yeah, talking, yeah. If you're not talking about uh, uh, I mean I would think uh, counties that are between seventy five and hundred and fifty thousand people. Right. Well, I, I, see. Yeah, if you get and similar look, type governments as well. I mean, that's extremely important. All sure. Who would do that? Who would be responsible? Who do you think? Page to anything else. You know, be responsible. <laughs> you know, <laughs> is it something you want to do in house or you want a consultant to come do that? You know, you want a, you want a, uh, a non biased approach on, on a lot of this stuff. And that's, I don't, think you, I don't think you want to pay a consultant to come in here. Oh, oh, well, this, 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 might, this might be something that we could reach out to Carl Benson Institute or somebody like that and say, what are y'all seeing seeing in other well, areas? Well, another thing is you could reach out and do. You could also, just from the standpoint of uh, uh, of your fellow peers that's in ACCG, the commissioners, right. ACCG, that would give you an opportunity there to speak with some of those folks to find out exactly what, you know, if there's anything there that they may be doing that you want to do. I mean, Joe, Joe's got access to that. What do you call that page? You can get up and throw a question out on Joe with ACCG. Okay, but I mean he can he can get out there and throw a question out and then print out all the results. And okay, so we can be specific in just what you outlined. We're going to look at communities that are seventy-five to one hundred fifty thousand people. I mean, do you? And cities is that right a fair there? analysis, Joe? Yeah. Size-wise. Or is that too broad? If you want to be broad, that's about as broad as it can be as far as. Maybe 100 to 150,000 population. Yeah. You know, you need to tighten it up a little bit and get a look at the things. So, um, would you agree that the goal is measurable in cost effectiveness? Obviously, bottom line, the numbers don't make sense. Then. Efficiency, cost, cost, uh, Cost savings. Just right click and print. And remember this, I would also say um, administrative control. Because, it first, and I'll use it as an example, the first time that you contract out your grading, and you have a citizen call you about grading a road and you're talking to a contractor that says, I'm contracted to do it on this date. I'm with you. Then you got I understand. To I mean, I, I understand there's value yeah. and there's good so you, know, you need to look at all those things. I, I'm, not, I'm definitely not looking at it at a hard and fast because I know that there are some value-driven parameters that have to be looked at. Well, I, I think... Bill, I think that's a good point, but I think that the RFP that we issue for any of that addresses any potential weaknesses. I, you know, when I answer RFPs for my business and I submit proposals, typically those counties have all of that worked out. Okay. And so if the RFP says, you know, you do it a minimum of blank and, you know, this many special events for your whatever it could say whatever we want to say we can say mow it every day whether needed or not so i mean i think rfp and whatever services we are looking at would take care of any of those those objections obviously the 
41 worth of cost, but that would, I think, handle that, that objection or that weakness. Okay. Is the goal of thing? Is the goal roll? Well, I think we did hear somebody. Is the goal time based? I'd like to encourage everyone to flip one page to the left and look at all the things that are on that yeah. when we are considering because we have um, before you and I came on board George and Joe and Ashley and the rest of them had a reduction in workforce event that significantly reduced reduces our ability to get some of these things done I mean we did it to save money and so I would encourage us to consider that when we talk about time-based or not, because we just do not have the staff. If we're talking about everybody doing what they're normally supposed to be doing all day long. Oh yeah, and here's a, you know, here's a ream of paper with some stuff we want done in a year to five years. So um, I think that under normal circumstances, that would be something we could see. Maybe one service tackled in a year, but I think that should be annually. I just don't think you should ever get to a point where you say, we're not going to look at that anymore. Does that make sense? Huh? I'm with you. So, I don't know, I just... Joe, what do you think, Spare? So, I, I don't think you can complete it in a year. I think that Rich has got a point that if you want to evaluate on an annual basis your uh, efficiency and service, and that makes sense, so, uh, you have to have the staff standpoint Direction. That's what I was trying to clarify earlier. If you're talking about, mm -hmm. like I say, public works, you're talking about something else. So instead of us just trying to shoot uh, broadly at uh, all services and efficiency of those services, that's a very broad range, and it's very difficult to narrow that in. But uh, we cannot, I don't think, complete everything. Why couldn't it be completed? What, what would be the reason for not in 12 months to be able to evaluate? I'm not being argumentative. I'm just curious I, why. I was just telling about y'all want me to quit doing. Mm -hmm. You know what? Well, I, I, I think Richard's already said why it can't be done in years because of staffing. We don't have the staff right now. The staff is currently already stretched to their limits just based on the fact that we did have the reduction in force. And now everybody is double duty and running shorthanded, I don't think to load the burden on them to say, we've got to have this in a year's time to do this kind of research in that situation, whether it be this one or any of the others. I'm not I'll sure take, that it's a take this on. That's even scary. Okay. <laughs> I, 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 think, I, I think that's worthy in, in all seriousness. If you are willing to do some research on that and bring it back to us. Why would we want to stop it? Why would we say, no, you can't do it? I mean, if you're willing to gather yeah, some of it, you just take two or three years. No problem. No, I mean, I, go, I'll just go. pull I'll pull data together and just feed it to Joe. And then when he gets a chance to review it, we'll circle back around on it. I wouldn't have it wrong, then. Joe, you okay? However we word that, I did want to point out that as far as staff goes, we have a chain of command that we have to be very careful that we're working as far as, you know, I mean, this is going to take not only from the study part, because staff has done, we've done some things piece by piece before. It takes a lot of time to pull. And let, me, let me clarify, let me clarify. This. And if I can, it's not going to be any advantage if you're working with staff to try to get the answers that you're looking for. I'm not going to. You're going outside. I'm going outside. Fine. That, and that's what I wanted to clear up. Yes, nice. we're, you, we're not going to come through the back door and still tie up the resources and, and tie these folks up. No, no intention to. So, yes, so okay. How long do you need, Commissioner Powell? Oh, at least a year. <laughs> <laughs> that takes two years. Um, <laughs> you might could just take you know, a couple of areas. Yeah. Kind of look at IT and public well, the main thing is, that I, you know, it's just kind of a brainstorming exercise on what, right. what can we look at. So, I don't know, six months? 
Okay. Like is that, your project now? I'll say six months. Would you like okay. to have, how about an update in six months? Yes. Is there okay. good? Yes. That's what I'm talking about. I'll, I'll have an update in six months. Now somebody just texted me, so was it one of y'all saying I'm a fool to do this? or what was no. <laughs> Do what? I think it's being proactive. Do what, Joseph? Yeah. All right, so we, we determined that it's, let, let's just say that it's long term. And, and with this being said, don't, don't take I me mean, where I'm not going on this, where I think if staff and the departments are not doing a good job and things like that. I'm just, the curiosity is, are there things we can contract out to save money and still provide the level of service we need to provide? So those are the things that you're going with to With the administrative for. control and oversight so that you would like to have. And we ought like to, and all businesses do that. We really should have both of mine about stuff like that. Okay, Mr. Marshall. I got like three or four things. 